Designing book jacket covers can be intimidating, but when you have all the right tools, it can be a breeze. Hi, my name is Laura Kyung from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this video, I will show you how to set up a book cover template that you can reuse over and over again. I've been working in Adobe InDesign professionally for over 14 years, and I will show you how to design a book cover with just a few essential tools. So before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With one subscription, you will have unlimited access to assets such as graphics, fonts, and photos used in this tutorial. There are millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing, and you can cancel anytime. You can subscribe with the link in the description. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, you will need Adobe InDesign, and you will also need two fonts, Addington CF, the Cadence Script Font Collection, a portrait, and the Six Faces Vector Illustration. You will also need the book jacket template paragraph styles. You can download the InDesign file, and I will show you later how to install it. So before we start creating anything, I want to show you how to set up the structure of a book jacket template. We will start our file with one page and then add separate pages for each part of the book cover template. So separate pages for the back flaps, the back cover, and the spine. This will allow us to design separately, but then export everything as one PDF. Okay, so let's get started. In InDesign, create a new file, change the units to inches, set the width to 6.375, and the height to 9.25 inches. Make sure it is portrait, uncheck facing pages, set the margins to 0.5 inches and the bleed to 0.125. Click create. On the pages panel, uncheck allow document pages to shuffle from the main menu. This will allow us to move pages on the InDesign book template easily. And while we're in the same panel, add four pages to the book jacket template to the create new page button and then drag them into each other to create a five page spread. Select the page tool from the tools panel, select the first page on the left and head over to the control panel. There, set the width to 3.5 inches. This will be the back flap. Select the page on the very right and also set it to 3.5 inches. Use the same page tool to move the pages next to each other. On the Pages panel, select the Spine section of the book cover and go to Layout, Margins and Columns. Set the margins to 0.25 inches. With the Page tool from the toolbar, select the Spine page and set the width to 1 inch. The spine will be different for all books, so be sure to consult with your printer. Now we need to alter the margin settings on the front cover and the back cover to account for the fold on the flaps. So we need to subtract 0.375 inches in order to have the design aligned to the center from the front cover and the back cover. So select page two of the InDesign book template, head over to layout, margins and columns, and set the left margin to 0.875 inches. Repeat the same procedure for the front cover, 0.875. And now we have the margins that will account for the fold. So let's set up a few layers. Add a couple more layers on the layers panel and rename each layer to background, text, and images. Open the swatches panel by going to window, color, swatches. Let's delete these and add new colors. The first blue color set it to 180, 20, 55. Click OK. The orange will be 75 magenta, 95 yellow, and 10 black. The sand color will be 10, 13, 15, 0. And the yellow color will be 5, 25, 55, 0. Now let's add our paragraph styles. Go to Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles to open the Paragraph Styles panel. And on the main menu, select Low Paragraph Styles. Navigate to the Book Jacket Paragraph Styles in Design document that you downloaded and click Open. In the Load Styles window, click on Check All and click OK. 
And now you will have a list of paragraph styles on the panel ready to be used. Bring up the rules on your book cover by pressing Command R and use the top ruler to create two guides horizontally, one that sits at one inch and the other one at 2.75 inches. Using the rectangle tool, create a rectangle that goes all the way to the bleeds and set the color to blue. Let's be sure that this is on the background layer. We can drag it like this. Lock and select the images layer. Select the outdoor portrait, drag it into InDesign. Click and resize it to 12%. Drag the bottom center point of the frame towards the top to create a square frame, or you can also change the size on the control panel. Select the text tool and create a text frame that fits the width of the back flap and place it right under the second guide. Double click and then right click to add placeholder text. Select some of the text and use the paragraph styles. In this case, I will use flap quote. For the rest of the text, I will use the copy style. And then I will add a name, the name of the author. And here I will use flap signature style. Using the text tool, create three text frames. One will have a quote, the next one copy, and the last one some small information. It's okay if there is too much text, we can delete it after. And here select back cover quote. For the next section, select copy. And for the bottom text, set the frame to the back cover quote. And on the swatches panel, set the color to paper. So you can still edit these styles, but they will be based on the styles that are already in the panel. Head over to the control panel, set the type size to eight points. You can move these text boxes to create visual harmony and we will add a barcode down here with the rectangle tool. I'll set the color to paper. Perfect. Now be sure to select all of the text and then on the layers panel, drag all of those elements towards the text layer. Create a text frame. Add the title of the book, in this case, The Secret in the Painting. Select everything, and on the Paragraph Styles panel, select Spine. To make it pop, select the second word, and this one we will change to Cadence Script. Set the size to 38 points and the baseline shift to minus 5. Set the tracking to zero. On the swatches panel, set the color to yellow. And then using the rotate tool or R on your keyboard, rotate the text frame 90 degrees. Try to visually center align the text to the spine. Let's find our six faces of vector illustration. Select the JPEG and drag it into InDesign. Click and select one of the faces. For me, it will be the top right. And here I just want to resize the frame so it has a similar margin on all sides. And then to resize the whole image, press Shift Command and drag from any other corners. I want this to fit the margins. Using the text tool, create two frames and at the on one and secret on the other one. Select the and head over to the paragraph styles panel. Select front cover title line one and do the same for secret. The word the needs to be smaller. So go to the control panel and set the font size to 55 points and place both frames next to each other, creating good harmony between the two words. 
Let's center this. Create another text frame under the first line for the rest of the title. And set the style to front cover title line 2. I want this to be behind the first line. Right click on secret, arrange, bring to front. And now it looks a little bit more interesting visually. Add a final text frame to the cover and include the author's name. And format this to the front cover author style. Now for the last flap, select the title and press Command G to group the frames. Duplicate them by pressing Option and dragging them to the front lap. Head over to the control panel and set the scale percentage to 45%. Let's center this to the front flap and place it under the first guide. Using the text tool, create a text frame under the title on the inside flap. Right click to fill with placeholder text and style this with a copy style. Export the book jacket as one image. Go to File, Export. Let's rename this. Select Adobe PDF Print. Click Save. Under the Adobe PDF preset, select Press Quality. Under the Pages option, set the export as Spreads. Select Marks and Bleeds. Check all printer marks and use Document Bleed settings. Click Export. And now you will have a ready to print PDF file. Awesome. And there you have your book cover template. We cover some key tools that will help anyone really edit a template fast and easy. So if you like this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new inspiring videos. If you're looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. I am Laura Kyung, and from all of us at Envato, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.